everyone it's weekend again and happy weekend to everybody and happy gardening to all so this weekend guys we're going to continue the part two of M's home and succulent garden too so i hope you will enjoy this video as much as you enjoyed the first one so come on guys and join me and let's continue the part two of M's home succulent garden tour all right so let's go back here in this shelving there's a lot of plant in this one and i have these beautiful purple succulent which is super bomb so super bomb stays purple even winter time so if you want a purple succulent that stays even in summer so get yourself a super bomb beautiful This one needs a clean. Long leaf variegated, what are you, um, cotyledon? This one is lavender pebbles from leaf propagation. Okay, it's not purple at the moment, it's grey because it's summer. I got a few cactus in here. Now this one is getting overgrown. It's covering my little doll. More of these lavender pebbles. This one is pudgy, obiforum, needs to be repotted. More of this lavender, uh, purple delight, sorry. And I have a few of these agavoids, some of them are hybrid. This one are hybrid. more of alga voice so i don't know the identification of these because they are hybrid and this one is haworthia turn red during summer more of this alga voice i think this one is white ebony these two ebony another ebony this one let's see if we can still read the this is from plant and be merry but no more identification this one here this is frank reynold that has been damaged so the half of the plant disappears so i put it here this plant had to look like a crown it works more arrangement this is my baby toes more of this agavoids this is the one i just repotted and have more there at the back so the agavoids i have here also have a overhead cover to protect from winter rain because it rains a lot where I am during winter. B 
beautiful arrangement in a frame, picture frame or photo frame. Beautiful color. Look at the color, guys. Gorgeous. This one is Letitia. Right, so this cotyledon here, this round form variegated one. Oops. I really have a hard time growing this thing. <laughs> I don't know why it stays small. Another beautiful arrangement with full of serums. Gorgeous color, beautiful color. Loved it. All right, so I think, uh, look at this, how big this Echeveria here in this pot. That's my hand for comparison. This one too, quite big as well. This is avocado, Echeveria avocado something. Okay, so I think that's all I can share with you in this area. I also like this Tokyo Sun, Serum Tokyo Sun. Look at the color, beautiful. And I think I forgot to show you here. Another purple delight. Beautiful purple delight. And monkey's tail in this long, tall, big pot. On top, I put a lipstick, Agavoy lipstick. has a beautiful red edge tip and here is this monkey's tail it's very long I think the flower is just finished right, and I have this beautiful arrangement here now this one I have a bluebird that also nearly dying on me, rotted. So half of it is gone. Then I just put it in arrangement. Look at the color. Beautiful. All right, so over here, guys, um, I have my Purple Delight vertical wall. Someone asked me for a update. Use the Purple Delight vertical wall. So it's around three o'clock now and it's already in this side of my garden or where the Purple Delight vertical wall is already shaded. At the moment, it needs some water. The leaves are very soft, so I haven't watered it yet because it's get too hot at the moment. So when it when the weather cools down, then I will start watering them. And this side we have. A lot of plants as well. Mm. 
Okay, so over here is my Haworthy corner. I've got a few Haworthy here. I don't have a lot, only very few. Variegated one. It's beautiful. I have the variegated here right at the back. I think they need water as well. Very soft. And more here. So I need to water them. And have the tree plant head or planter head. All right, so this is what it looked like from the distance. So I need to replace some of these plant on the top. They are struggling. And here at the top of my garden, I have my propagation area. So I have all of these purple delight that under cover. So they're getting afternoon sun, but they are under cover. So these are all propagation area. And I have more purple delight here that I propagated from um, stem cuttings and leaf propagation so this one from stem cuttings this one is an old propagation from I think a year ago two years ago and then I also have over here in the tray now these are all um, leaf propagation and over there as well so this one needs to be repotted because the water is not really holding the water as much so the plant is not growing bigger and I have another propagation here that's already matured they are in the pots another leaf propagation more leaf propagation here and more leaf propagation over here There you go. So purple delight guys is easy to propagate from leaf and also easy to propagate from cuttings. That's why I have lots of this purple delight. And that is why I able to make a vertical wall. So this one is ready for another propagation. I will going to cut all this top head and then we're going to propagate it. So most of my propagation are from this area here. Now over here is my succulent gutter. It's not doing well because I've been picking up some few pieces to put it in my arrangement. <laughs> so there are lots of gaps in between. So this is needed to be redone or put some more plants. So this is where I get my, some of my succulent for arrangement. Look at this, how pretty is that color? So there are lots of gaps. So this one needs for redoing again. So this one needs to be redo. And on the other side, same thing. I took some of them because they are quite getting big, like this. Um, what are you? Alba Beauty. It's quite getting big for the container. My Aga Voids. So over here, I already took out some of the plant for propagation. And I have also some here. Now let's go over this side. There. 
okay so that's what it looks like in my succulent gutter and I also have some pots on the bottom so these are all propagation as well So on the other side here is my Ionium collection. Now Ionium doesn't look like um, beautiful at the moment because they are in dormancy. The color is so beautiful, but the head is so small. This one is a crested Ionium, but now it seems turned into a clump. I lost the crested one or cresting one. I have this little one there. So that's what it looks like our Ionium. Really small. But don't worry, in winter time when they are growing season, they come back to life and they grow big again. Alright, so but in saying that this one here this ionium i have here because it's so shady and then under the tree i have a tree there cherry tree this one didn't really turn out to be very dormant still looking good is this super bang Look how pretty is that, gorgeous, nice color. So I think if you put the Ionium into a little bit shaded and cooler area of your garden, they might not turn into a very um, tormency. Okay, so that's it for now guys. I think that's all I can share to you this time. And I hope you enjoy our little garden tour. And I hope that you inspired to what I shared to you this weekend. So this garden tour is a request from one of our viewers. So here it is. Um, how the lot needs to be done. So there are a lot of things needs to be done in the garden. It's never ending. And because we love gardening, so these things are just enjoyable for us. So happy weekend to all of you. And I hope you enjoy your weekend in your garden. So see you next time. So that's the end of our part two garden tour at M's Home Succulent Garden. So I hope you enjoy our video for this weekend. And don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share as well and leave a comment in my comment section and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so guys i'll see you next time bye